Hello everyone, my name is Alexia Snyder and I'm currently a graduate student at Queen's University of Charlotte. Today I will be sharing my research paper with you through a digital presentation. I decided to pick one of my favorite films, Perks of Being a Wallflower, and relate it to how it could provide equipment for living for others. This film provides equipment for living for individuals who are learning how to deal with and overcome depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. This film introduces the main character, Charlie, who is a teenager in his journey through high school, new friends, love, and loss. Perks of Being a Wallflower reveals many opportunities for the viewer to connect to each character's life throughout the film and dealing with and learning how to overcome various mental illnesses. Each character symbolizes something different. For example, Sam is a symbol of someone who is learning how to be loved, and Patrick is at a constant battle with his sexuality. This film focuses on Charlie, who embodies a wallflower. The main question, though, is, how can Charlie help improve viewers' lives? After completing my literature review, I noticed there were some similarities I could carry over to my research paper. Along the way, I discovered two main assumptions. The first assumption is that equipment for a living helps assist viewers when they're going through change. Charlie deals with change all throughout the film, from starting in high school and gaining new friends. The second assumption is navigating under the sense that everyone is wearing a symbolic mask. Throughout the film, he has flashbacks of his aunt death and memories they had shared together. He didn't tell anyone what he was going through, and it constantly made him question his aunt and what he dealt with his whole entire life. After viewing the film multiple times, utilizing the phenomenology tradition and the uncertainty reduction theory definitely helped me a lot. According to Little John and Foss, Phenomenology is the way in which human beings come to understand the world through direct experience. In the film, there are three main occurrences that significantly stand out and relate to how the film provides equipment for living. The first main event is when Charlie starts a new school. He starts to feel alone because nobody wants to eat lunch with him, and students are making fun of him because he is studious. When Charlie gets home, he writes about how his day and how he hopes that things eventually will get better. During this time, he is very anxious and withdrawn, signaling symptoms of depression. The second event is meeting Sam and Patrick. Since Charlie hasn't become close to anybody, Sam and Patrick are his first real friends in high school. He doesn't know much or what to disclose to them. He is uncertain and doesn't know what to expect, signaling the usage of uncertainty reduction theory and signs of anxiety. The third main event is Charlie's aunt's passing. During the entire film, Charlie has flashbacks of her and some of them together. Each flashback represents one piece of their relationship, and at the end, the relationship unfolds and Charlie blames himself for her death. During this time, Charlie is having symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. Conclusion After analyzing the three main events that take place throughout the film, it becomes clear through phenomenology tradition that Charlie is extremely relatable. Even though Charlie is a wallflower at the beginning, by the end he realizes that he will be okay and that there is always light at the end of the tunnel, no matter what he is fighting with internally. Even if the viewer has not experienced any of the things that Charlie has, but knows someone dealing with any of these issues, they can utilize the phenomenology tradition through Sam and Patrick's perspective. Here is my work cited page, and thank you for listening to my digital presentation.